next up we have the equation of a circle. And once I see the equation of the circle in that form, I automatically go to page 19 of my formula books and write in the equation of the circle formula. x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Then I match them up. So match up my coefficients of x, so the numbers in front of x. So there I've got 2g is equal to minus 2, g is equal to minus 1. Match up my coefficients of y, 2f is equal to 8, f is equal to 4. And when I write it in this form, the centers in the form mi or minus g minus f is my center. So minus minus 1 is 1, um, my y coordinate there is minus 4. The other bit that I can get from this is the radius. And the radius is the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Now our g there is minus 1, so minus 1 squared is 1. f squared is 16 minus c, which is minus k in this. Now the radius it tells me is 5 root 3. So 5 root 3 is equal to 17 minus k. When I have an equation with a square root, I square both sides. Now don't forget to square your 5 there, put it in your calculator if you wish. 5 squared is 25, 25 times 3 is 75, it's equal to 17 minus k. And to work with your k, just bring it across, 17 minus 75, k is equal to minus 58. Yeah, minus 58. To check if you're right, you could sub it in up here. And we should get an answer of 5 or 3. So 1 plus 16 minus and then my k is minus 58. And we do get 5 root 3. So we're going to be happy with that. Find the value of k, we're done. Next one, they're giving me the equation of the circle. And we're going to be using that first formula there on page 19. I've got my x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And the equation is x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 20. Um, and it has a tangent at that point. So I'm just going to match them up. I'm going to get my center. I'm going to get my radius. So minus h is equal to minus 5. That means h is equal to 5. And minus k is equal to 2. k is equal to minus 2. And when I do this, my center is just simply hk. And so my center there is 5 minus 2. To work out my radius, r squared is 20. r is the square root of 20. And I would just leave it like that. Or if you wish, put it in your calculator and you get 2 root 5. Either or, you'll get the same answer hopefully at the end. So now what have I got? I always love wee pictures, pictures here. So I've got my centre, 5 minus 2. What else has it told me? It has a tangent at the point. So this point here must be on the circle. 9 minus 4. Put it anywhere. And you've got a tangent. Now tangents meet that circle at a 90 degree angle. So... If I work out the slope of this line here between 5 minus 2, my centre, and the point on the circle 9 minus 4, and then I find the perpendicular slope, that'll give me the slope of the tangent. So I've got my points, 5 minus 2 and 9 minus 4. Find the slope of that, x1, y1, x2, y2. And my formula for slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So minus 4 minus in the formula, minus 2, 9 minus 5. So minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 over 4, which is the same as minus a half. And then for the perpendicular slope, just turn it upside down and change the sign. So 2 or 2 over 1 is the slope. Find the slope of the tangent. Yeah, slope of the tangent is 2. And then there's going to be a difficult bit here. Here we have two circles. Uh, both the x-axis and the y-axis are tangents. And each contain the point 1 minus 8, as shown in the diagram. Find the equation of each of the circles. Now, when I see that, and it says that both the x-axis and the y-axis are tangents, that means that this centre here, it could be, say, 3 minus 3. It could be 5 minus 5. Now, think about it. 5 across, minus 5 down. It's in that quadrant. Yeah? But both my x and y value is going to be the same, except one's just going to be a, a positive sign or a negative sign. So I'm going to be using that formula, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is 
equal to r squared. Now this might get messy, we'll see how we get on. But just going from other questions in previous years, it's kind of following that format. So the center there is going to be hk, but as we said up here, it'd be 3 minus 3, 5 minus 5, just looking that it's in that cause quadrant, if you're thinking of your trigonometry. So h is equal to minus k, see. One's the opposite of the other, and then we'll put her about and we'll see, does our answer make sense? Now, 1 minus 8 is on the circle. So the only thing I'm thinking there is I'm going to horse it in. It satisfies the equation. So I have the point 1 minus 8. So there's my x, there's my y. I'm going to throw in my x to be 1. So I have 1 minus h squared plus y minus 8 minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now I mightn't have much room here. Keep her tidy. Square that up there. So square the first, multiply the two together and double it. Square the last. Same over here. Square the first, multiply the two together and double it. And square the last. Now, as I said there, h is equal to minus k. So what I'm going to do is, whenever there's a h, I'm going to throw a minus k. So I'm going to tidy that up. 1 minus 2 times minus k is plus 2k plus k squared. So 64 plus 16k plus k squared is equal to r squared. Tidy that up even more. I get 2 k squared plus 18k, and God knows how many ways there is to do this, plus 65 is equal to r squared. Now our r, I still don't like having two variables in there, but both my r here is going to be my same. So if it was 3 minus 3, my radius would be 3. I can't have a negative value. So say, if, for instance, we'll take r to be k, since that's what I'm dealing with. It's going to have the same value as my center, and it's going to be the positive version of that. Yeah, can't have a negative radius. So I'll tidy that up even more. Oh, jeez. I'll tidy that up even more. We have 2k squared plus 18k plus 65 is equal to r squared, which is k squared. This is tough. Tidy that up. 2k squared minus k squared is k squared plus 18k plus 65. God knows how many simpler ways there is to do this. Open up my brackets now. Or your minus b and 13 and 5 plus and plus so k is equal to minus 5 and k is equal to minus 13. Now we said there our center is hk and h is equal to the minus version of that so h is equal to minus minus 5 which is 5 h is equal to 13. So my center for one of the circles will be 5 minus 5 and for the other one will be 13 minus 13. Does that make sense in relation to this picture? It was 5 across on the x-axis and minus 5 down, it does. And it was 13 across on the x-axis and it was 13 down, it does. Now to work out my radius, my radius is going to be the positive version of that. My radius will be 5 or my radius will be 13. Because I'm getting two uh, circles here. And then all I've got to do is label them h and k, radius r. So x minus 5 squared plus y minus, oh, minus minus 5 squared is equal to 25. I'm running out of room, but I'm just using that formula. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Same up here, there's my h and k. x minus 13 squared plus y minus minus 13 squared is y plus 13 squared is equal to r squared, which is 169. So there's my equations of both the circles.